Today's recipe is for an all-time favorite, garlic mashed potatoes. It's quite simple, actually, so I think you're really gonna like it. I've cut up eight potatoes. These are eight russet potatoes, and I have an entire head of garlic. You're gonna cook those two together in a pot of water. I like to start my potatoes in cold water. Potatoes cook more evenly that way. So just add them to a pot of cold water and then bring to a boil. You want it seasoned, of course, so add a tablespoon of kosher salt. When you're making mashed potatoes, you can use roasted garlic, you can use sauteed garlic. My preferred method is to cook it in the water with the potatoes. It sort of makes the garlic get a little bit sweeter and more mild, which I prefer. Bring the liquid to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and then cook until the potatoes are very tender. That can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how low your simmer is. And then when they're done, you're gonna wanna drain them. When you've drained your potatoes, you wanna dry them out. That way they are not soggy when you mash them and they'll absorb more of the flavorful liquid, which is one cup of milk mixed with one stick of butter. You can melt everything together. So what you wanna do is you wanna dry these out. You do that over like a medium, medium high heat in the pot they cooked in and you wanna cook them you can stir them around a little bit. A film is gonna form on the bottom of the pot. You're gonna know that they're ready and they've dried out. Drying them out helps it so that they are fluffier because you've removed some of the excess liquid that maybe they absorbed while they were cooking. You can see that little film right there on the bottom. That's how you know that they've dried out enough. The liquid is just coming to a simmer, so that is the correct temperature. I'm gonna turn everything off and then combine them. If you like your potatoes to be super duper fine, you can pass it through a ricer, but I'm gonna mash it by hand because that's my preferred texture. This seems like a lot, which makes me a little bit nervous, so I'm only gonna add part of it and mash it in, and then if it seems like it needs more, add more. You'll be surprised, though, how much liquid potatoes can absorb. If you find that they're too dry, you can always add a little bit more milk or butter as you go. Then you want to taste them. You're going to want to season them. You may need more seasoning. We had a lot of salt in there, a tablespoon, but it didn't all go into your potatoes, so you want to taste it. As your potatoes sit, they'll absorb more liquid, so if you're making these ahead and you're going to reheat them, you're going to want to heat up a little bit more milk to mix in so that it loosens slightly. Mm. The great thing about this is that you can really taste the garlic, but it's not overwhelming, which is surprising because it's a whole head of garlic. You might be like, wow, that's a lot of garlic. It's really nice. And this is a great accompaniment to your Thanksgiving meal. People are going to love them. Okay, that's it. Mm. The garlic is there, but it's not overwhelming. These are creamy and delicious, and I think you're really gonna love this recipe. Give it a try. If you're looking for more recipes like this, click like and subscribe.